Hello, it's Claire here, and just a quick summary on the new moon in Gemini on the 6th of June 2024. So I've looked at Pam Gregory, Gregory even Molly McCord, and Tanya Gabrielle, and there is quite a lot going on really. So on according to Pam Gregory on the 25th of May, Jupiter moves into Gemini from Taurus and Jupiter stays there for 12 well it stays put generally uh, for 12 months in each sign so she suggested where were you 12 years ago roughly and there may be an echo going on so some kind of expansion or growth study abundance that type of thing and also she's saying 4th of June Mercury is trying to Pluto and sort of words are important and secrets come to light and the time of this by the way uh was about 1 37 p.m universal time uk 5 37 a.m pacific and i'll check with the one of the other astrologers knows the other time so it's a really good time for setting intentions and also for the new earth as well setting intentions for that which is what Pam's trying to do. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, so it's kind of a broad spread of knowledge, feeling, and a lot to do with chat, communication. And there are five planets in Gemini, and Pluto is in Aquarius. So it's probably also Venus is quite active and alongside, you know, the other planets there. So, and that's linking in with love. And she thinks get into your body, do exercise, be still, deep breaths, do something that's going to kind of focus your mind because something even like with your hands, like with pottery, crocheting, sewing or something and get out of the scattering feeling, which is it leads to deeper wisdom. And also Gemini is a bit non-conformist. So people watching people and being one step back from that and also mars is energizing aries so a strong warrior energy and it will not tolerate injustice so there's going to be more things to do with freedom and truth which seems to be a common theme at the moment and chiron conjunct with aries well so where we felt wounded and being excluded may be a bit of a theme and to look at that really where have we been excluded where have we you know, being wounded and do we need to do something about that? And uh, she talked quite a lot about other things happening with technology. So AI um, is really developing. I think she talked about it with taking over data processing and the social implications and that type of thing. And social media being massive, it's just become massive. And with all this choice and Gemini is about choice, actually, and great for choice. Um, you've also got Uranus and Taurus linked in with food production and the farmer strikes and Ceres, Saturn and Pluto. And you, she talked about that happened, that linking happened around the pandemic 2020 and that catapulted us into huge changes really. So um, kind of deep things going on really at the moment. And she talked about Saturn square to the new moon and Venus. So... Um, really kind of adding in spirituality now and it's in Pisces so you know Saturn squared to Newman and Venus in Pisces Neptune in Pisces looking at it's in the last degree so dreams may be quite strong mine have been very weird and interesting and she talked about the finger of God and on the sort of astro chart and that she sees us waking up from old dreams and waking up to the new earth frequency and embracing that in an excited way. And um, daily time versus dream time and dream time may establish day to day life and to so, you know, kind of set new intentions with that in mind that the dreams and dream time can be very very powerful molly mccord was talking same she mentioned eight thirty seven a.m eastern time so i think that's new york boston that type of um, area time um and all gemini's conjunct venus 
So sun, moon conjunct, same degree, 16 degrees, 17 minutes. And to look at where we have 16 degrees of Gemini in our charts, a lot to do with communication, personal expression, and to be aware of what we say and not divulge all thoughts and to pause and be clear. And what are we processing? And Gemini is about our local environment, our neighbours, our peers, where we go and so on. And maybe have a little bit more discernment over that, really. Um, Jupiter in Gemini will help. So it's trying to Pluto and it raises our communication habits, powerful communicators, probably at the moment, decisions, clarity, being more aware of the self and looking at what's not working and speaking our truth with the Pluto being very active, making a decision. And she talked about like active in the throat chakra, public speaking, expressing ourselves and being clear what is a no at the new moon. What are we ready to practice as well and then have been practicing, but now we're ready to teach it. So that might be a theme coming out. Um, understanding where we are scattered and mentally tired and that this new moon really helps us leave things behind because I think she then talked about Saturn, which squaring the moon. And it asks us to check our progress on communications and check details, especially especially around 29th of June when um, there's a retrograde. I think she mentioned Saturn being retrograde. So a bit like Mercury, stop and listen. Um, she talked about Venus Sun conjunct new moon, helping us express something private, again back to the throat chakra, and clearing out what needs to be heard, I suppose, really. And that we may have learned things twice, the Gemini's, the twins, and, you know, there may be a case of clarify that, really. And she talked about um, needing to ground and breathe before speaking and even exercise before speaking. Lots of mental energy going on. And so Gemini is an air sign and it, it's quite fast and lots going on and a bit scattered. So maybe to think about doing a bit less and check in on what we need to take care of, really. And each planet will square Saturn and Neptune. And so there will be some kind of surrender and giving up or saying no at some, th at some point. And Neptune wants really the mind to take a break. And there's a strong theme of doing a bit less and this decision about a yes or a no um, and that Saturn and Neptune will take something away at some point. So and Mars in Taurus means Mars is quite action oriented and fast and Taurus is a bit slower and more ponderous and thinking about things. So there's a sort of balance going on there. And Tanya Gabrielle really talked again about the five planets in Ven you know, in Gemini, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, Sun and Moon, being a stellium and being that 16 degrees, it's one plus six is seven in numerology, which is the mind triad, one of the um, mind linked numbers, uh, very much about thoughts and quick decisions. And also because Venus is linked in there very much looking at the beauty, looking at arts, appreciating art, using essential oils, beautifying our environment might be quite important to us. And it's about intuitive facts, data, curiosity, teaching. The twins is two sides of a coin, so there might be um, for options. And almost like really it's very beneficial, Jupiter, is and venus are, are bene benefic so that's you know a really good thing um for gratitude and you know expanding things as well so really good time to set our intentions because jupiter is really active and can be beneficial and also our psychic senses may be really more sort of you know aware at the moment and that our influence is stronger and um, really a sense of discovery is quite strong. So, and she talked about Saturn, 18 degrees of Pisces, sowing seeds, and it will impact our future. So also really, because 
she talked about the tense when they say tense it's slightly like you know an, a more negative aspect but saturn is constricting us a bit because and that's good because of the balance because jupiter is bringing things out and mercury and Ge gemini are really expanding things and chat chat and communicate and so on but saturn will come in and start to really you know sort things out a bit slow it down and get a balance so anyway very good time to set intentions and have a great happy new moon in gemini thank you bye